Okay, so hello YouTube, again me, this is my third video today, and uh, this is the model, which is 300, and I will be replacing it with this one that I have already rebuilt, which is uh, 450, I believe. Now whether this will work or not, fuck if I know. And uh, sorry for that, and uh, let's give it a go, right? be coming soon Bye. Bye. okay so this is getting hot as you can see and uh, where all this will be uh, functioning motherboard hell if I know but again the original CPU is very shitty or to say shitty at best so as Dalboy says he who does wins right okay be right back So, to be honest, this this stinks as hell, seriously. Nobody normal would be doing this job, seriously. Okay, it's not moving yet. So this is almost at 180 degrees and it's at, at 160 so this should be movable soon enough. Now to be honest this soldering iron, this Jovi, Jovi, it is a It is a bit um, lying when it comes to temperatures, so for example it says it's 177 but it's actually not, so this is 180. So we we'll have to go into uh, 200 degrees, right? Okay, we'll be going to 220 degrees as well, obviously. Okay, this thing fell, which sucks. Okay. So it is 191 degrees. Okay, so it is movable, which is okay. And turn the pump. Pump. So I can remove the fan, the CPU. And the CPU has been removed. Now I need to clean this. And this is actually a very stinky procedure. I just need to turn this thing off. Because it's still... Um, it's still heating it, so, so, okay, let's see, Ooh, nice and clean, beautiful, now I need some, okay, Pliers. 
so that I can clean this thing. I'll be cleaning it with alcohol as well. Beautiful, beautiful. I must say this is this has been cleaned beautifully. Now whether this will work or not, I'm not sure, but <clears throat> okay. Now some alcohol. I need some something to clean up with. I'm using this cloth. This is still actually rather hot. It's 140 degrees Celsius, so it is hot. Okay, it is clean. Okay. Now I need to place the CPU in the uh, exact spot where it used to be. So let's hope for the best, right? This is hot as hell. Yeah, it's hot as hell. Okay, good. Now the CPU and the uh, CPU goes with this. Oh, this. So let's give it a go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need, I need, I need this to center it perfectly. This is actually almost perfect. Oh, this is. This is actually perfect. <laughs> so. Part 2 is soldering it back on, right? Now I will be running a different profile because this profile will have 185 degrees but I'll place an alarm at 180 and we'll start fan afterwards and uh, now we wait actually so this is pretty much it, and uh, see you soon, I suppose. Bye bye. <sighs> okay, so as Dalboy says, he who dares wins, right? One CPU later. Now I won't be, um, I won't be uh, connecting anything but this well, heat sink, and I won't be in place internal paste just to see whether this will turn on or not, but uh, just to see what will happen or what actually did happen. So did I fuck up the motherboard or was this a legit thing to do? Bear in mind you have as much idea as do I, so we'll, we'll see. I'm placing only two screws because well, life is too short for four screws, right? Okay, so we need RAM, which is somewhere. And where did I put that RAM? Probably in the room with my machines. Okay, be right back. So, one memory stick later, so 
I think it's gonna work. I have a good feeling. I really do. Well, maybe. Okay, I don't. But okay, well, we'll see. Now I don't need to connect this because we'll be using batteries. So I need to place this in here. And I need to connect this. Okay. And I need to connect battery, obviously. Well, it did not explode, so there's a bonus. Also, need to connect well, the keyboard just to see what it says about the CPU if it even turns on. So, so keyboard is connected. Now this, this is um, the yeah, power connector. Okay, so. I really do not know whether this will turn on or not. Power? Okay, it does turn on. Well, at least the noise does. And... Well, this sucks. So, it does turn on, but... There is no, no... Well, no nothing. I need to see whether I need to do... Uh, Maybe buy a subgrade. So this sucks. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't put in the uh, BIOS battery and some laptops do tend not to turn on if there is no BIOS battery, especially AC ones. I'll be inserting a new one. I you know when you had a good idea and then it just turns sour. Well, this uh, this actually sums it up, so right? Well, anyway, let's see. Maybe the CPU was faulty. God knows. Okay, batteries here. I will be putting this thing back. Okay. No signs of life whatsoever. Well, this kind of sucks. Okay, so obviously the operation was a success, but the patient did not survive. Oh well. Just a second to see whether I need to connect maybe something more, but no. Did I connect on the screen? I did. Well, this is a big disappointment. Oh, no way! The screen was not connected. Awesome! <laughs> nice! Okay, so, thumbs up. Bloody hell! Who would have thought? So, let's see. Now, if I connect the keyboard back. Maybe the keyboard was connected back or bad fault. I know. Huh. Go figure. Just a second. Let's see whether it'll turn on right now. Come on, awesome. So, just to see whether I can enter BIOS. Awesome, so yeah. <laughs> Please wait. Awesome, 1.65. No way. So yeah, thumbs up. A crazy, crazy Russian hacker says, thumbs up for me. Awesome, so yeah, this thing is working and now this is uh, this is uh, this has uh, 700 megahertz more since there are two cores. Now this is a CPU. This is a, this is a laptop now at this moment. Okay, awesome. Well, I hope you learned something today. Uh, I hope you had a great time watching this video. And this is about it. Um, have a good day. Bye bye.